<clears throat> hey guys, what is going on? So I'm homesick from school, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a list of my top 10 favorite extreme metal albums in my vinyl collection, and also my voice sounds a lot fucking deeper right now because I pretty much lost my voice, but I have made a video in a couple of days, and I'm bored, so fuck it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, first of all, I um, <clears throat> I basically, like, I, not, I didn't put Rain and Blood on this list because that's on literally every single fucking list that um, I make. And, um, I don't know, it's an extreme metal album, but it's not Death Black or Grindcore, so, I don't know, but, um, I've got some really great albums on this list, so. Number 10, we have Nile within their Dark Enshrines, this fucking plastic sleeve is really falling apart. Um, not my favorite album from Nile, probably my second favorite, but definitely one of their best. <clears throat> it has some really good riffs on here, um, pretty progressive album to be honest, there's a lot of long songs on here, um, and it's a double LP. Uh, it's a pretty long album, and um, it's pretty entertaining, but I don't listen to it extremely often, but it's a pretty great album, so Nile Within Their Dark Enshrines. Next up, some more great death metal. This is a little bit more classic, though. More Angel, Alters of Madness, fucking killer old school death metal album, one of the first death metal albums ever. Um, probably my second favorite of More Angel, my favorite is Buster of a Sick, and I really need to get the wild repress for that, that just came out. Um, but anyways... Uh, this is a really great album, you know, absolutely classic death metal. Uh, so many great songs on here. <sighs> Sorry, there's a lot of, like, there is a little bit of thrash influence in here, but it's still a pure death metal album. Um, there's more death metal in here than there is in Scream Bloody Gore, in my opinion, but I'm not saying this is the first death metal album, but this is one of the first albums to be just pure death metal with, like, hardly any thrash influence, but there is still some in here. But some of my favorite songs are, like, Immortal Rights, Suffocation, uh, all of Side 1 is perfect, and then Chapel of Ghouls is good, and then the rest of Side 2 is good, but kind of not as good as the first half of the album, but still just absolutely amazing, so, uh, I just said that in a really cringy manner, but, you know, um, Mary Angel, um, Walter's Madness. <clears throat> Next, another earache record, At the Gates, Slaughter of the Soul. Uh, a lot of people don't like this album, but, like, at, who like At the Gates actually don't like this album, and prefer their earlier stuff. Their earlier stuff is actually really fucking good. I actually haven't listened to it as much as this. Um, this is a fantastic album, though. A lot of really great guitar work. The vocals aren't the strong point on here, but instrumentally, the songs are just very catchy and melodic and almost kind of emotional. And um, it's an album of songs that get stuck in your head, and it's just an entertaining album. So, um, yeah, this is a great album. Uh, hate me if you want. A lot of people don't like this, but I fucking love it. So, yes, number eight, I think, it's here, eight or seven, I'm an idiot, is, um, At The Gates with Slaughter of the Soul, also, I have two albums from the same band on this list, so, yeah, um, anyways, uh, the next one is Dark Throne, um, A Blaze in the Northern Sky, my second favorite Dark Throne album, and, um, yeah, this is actually a pretty nice sounding picture disc, I've heard that picture disc sound like shit, and this is the only one I own, but it sounds decent, it's not as good as a regular black vinyl or whatever, but, um, it sounds pretty nice, um, I don't have any problems with it, there's some surface noise, but it doesn't bother me, because I kind of like that, um, but really great album, amazing riffs on here, it sounds like Catherian Life Code, and In the Shadow of the Horns, and that album cover is just perfect, I fucking love, just pictures of old school, like, Norwegian black metal guys in corpse paint, something about that is just really badass to me, so, <clears throat> yeah, Dark Throne with like, a blaze in the Norman sky. Okay, next up, got and the only album I own from this band, unfortunately, um, but still one of their best, Obituary with The Incomplete. This is basically, um, <clears throat> fuck, why am I forgetting, because I really like Obituary. The album before this fucking, um, The Incomplete, no, oh my god, how do I, how am I forgetting this? I have a freaking picture of it on my wall, um, uh, Cause of Death. This is basically Cause of Death Part 2. <clears throat> I just lost so much credibility for forgetting the title of that album. Um, a lot of great riffs on here. The song writing isn't top notch, but it's still very good. And this is definitely, you know, Obituary's like five best albums. I'd say this is like my third favorite from them. Uh, Slowly We Rot being my favorite, and then Cost of Death, the second favorite. But, you know, really headbangable, fun riffs. Um, production's pretty nice. And, um, yeah, just really great old school death metal. That's a little bit slower. So, yeah, if you know Obituary, you should have listened to this album. And if not, I highly recommend you do, because you will not regret it. <coughs> Excuse me. God, it's like shit. I don't even know why I'm making this video, but... 
Okay, next up, classic grindcore album, and the only grind album on this list, Napalm Death, Scum. Um, this is just amazing grindcore. This is the first grindcore album, in my opinion. Some people say Repulsion, but in my opinion, they're kind of more, like, proto-grindcore, or even proto-death metal, but this is really the first grindcore album, in my opinion. Um, fucking amazing. You know, the songs are all really short. Uh, I prefer Side 2, actually, over Side 1, because Side 2... Uh, there's more blast beats and it's just more aggressive and raw. But this entire album is extremely raw. Um, I love the album cover. I think it's pretty badass looking. And it's just a really fun album to just blast and headbang to. Um, yeah, I don't really have much to say. It's just an awesome, raw, um, just kick-ass grindcore album. A lot of amazing riffs. And um, the vocal performance is really aggressive and awesome. And um, yeah, this is just one of my favorite albums in my collection. So, Napalm Death with Scum. All right, so now we are in the top four. So number four, um, absolutely classic death metal album, Deicide, self-titled. I love this album. Um, it's so much fun to listen to. Just really aggressive death metal. You know, a lot of blast beats. You know, like really crazy vocal performance on here from Glenn Benson. Um, great, almost technical style guitar riffs. Um, somewhat raw production, but it's still very good sounding. Um, <clears throat> so many just catchy songs I hear that are also extremely aggressive, like Sacrificial Suicide, Lunatic of God's Creation, Oblivious to Evil, uh, Dead by Dawn. It's just, it's, there's just so many classics on this album. And this is my second favorite album from Deicide, my first being um, Once Upon the Cross. Um, so, yeah. Alright, number three. Got an album from one of my favorite metal bands of all time uh, Mayhem, with Dame Mysterious, Dom Satanas. I fucking love every second of this album. It's just so... Uh, it's like the definition of... It, of Norwegian black metal. It's It doesn't have extremely raw production. But it's not like creep production. Um, <clears throat> I really like Attila's vocals. A lot of people hate on them. But I find them to be quite enjoyable. Um, you know, and this has so many classic songs. Like Funeral Fog. And of course, everyone knows Freezing Moon. Uh, Pagan Fears. The title track is really good. It's just an amazing black metal album, and I, I fucking love Mayhem. They're, they're just so good. Also, this is a gatefold. Uh, but yeah, I don't really have much to say. They're just a really good, creepy, kick-ass, but also heavy uh, black metal album. So, yeah. All right. Number two, we have another black metal album. and um, Mayhem's my favorite black metal band, but this is my favorite black metal album, and it's not for Mayhem, and that is Dark Throne, Transylvanian Hunger. <clears throat> I listen to this album so much. Literally, like, there isn't a week that goes by I don't listen to this album at least twice. Uh, every song on here has amazing melodic riffs. Um, the vocal performance is really good. And there's just nothing wrong with this album, really. I like the very raw production, but like, it's raw, but it doesn't sound like shit. Um, like, I don't know. It's very raw to, like, outsiders, but um, it, you could still hear everything. That's one of the things I like about this production-wise. Um, the album cover is just fucking amazing, and there's literally nothing wrong with this album. Every song in here is amazing. My favorite is probably the last, so either the last song in here, the title track, or um, the third song. I'm not gonna name it because I can't fucking pronounce it because I don't speak Norwegian. So um, yeah. All right, now number one is my favorite death metal album of all time from the band, one of the bands that got me into extreme metal. Um, I just adore this album on so many levels. It's so fucking perfect. Death with Leprosy. This album is so fucking just kick ass. It's like the definition of old school death metal. Um, old school death metal has always been, since I first discovered it, my favorite style of metal. Um, <clears throat> every song here is just amazing. Uh, Leprosy, Born Dead, Forgotten Past, Left to Die, and of course the classic Pull the Plug, uh, Open Casket, Perverted Waves. Um, Choke On It is also another one of my favorites. Um, just amazing guitar riffs. I really like Chuck's vocals on here, and the songwriting is great. The album cover is kick-ass. Um, I don't know. There's just so much about this album that's really great. So um, I had to include that on this list. So yeah, that's it for this list. Uh, my top 10 favorite extreme metal albums in my vinyl collection. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm very sorry that my voice sounds like complete shit in this video. But I felt like making a video. So um, yeah. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.